going on guys and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 in your PC. Whether you're building a brand new PC or just upgrading your cooling system, the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2, I have the 240 edition. Uh, this is phenomenal. I've been testing it out for over a week now and I was like, okay, I have to make a video on this because this is one of the best liquid CPU coolers that I have ever used today and I've used quite a bit. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. First things first, we're going to take these off. So we have those off. So then it looks like what we're doing here is we're putting spacers down. Bracket right here. Screw them down loosely at first. We don't want to tighten it until we have everything in place. Okay, both are in place so we can lightly tighten them down a little bit those are secure let's put the next bracket up top for the amd standard socket you're going to be using the exact holes that i'm using here it's the second holes on the top bracket second holes on this bracket here Brackets are in place. It's going to fit just like that. Next, what we want to do is install our old plate. It's going to go just like that. Boom. That should look pretty good. We have our thumb screws that are going to be going on, but first we need to apply our thermal paste. We don't want to be too much with this, so we're going to put a little bit on. that around and see what it looks like definitely a little bit more Pretty good amount to me. Get a little bit more in this corner, maybe right here. Okay, so we can now put that aside and it's time to mount our cooler. So we gotta first remove this adhesive on the copper plate itself. Okay, so gonna be like that we're gonna hold these wires out then we're gonna just mount this guy right on so in all four of those holes like that and rest right on this take our thumb screws each corner when screwing things in guys you want to go crisscross uh, like diagonal when you're screwing things in like this just so that even pressure is kind of applied as you're screwing it in okay I got those two on we'll just screw these on and then we'll tighten it with a screwdriver Those are on, let's tighten them all down. So we'll see if we're top left screw right here, we tightened it down. We'll go bottom right, make sure it's nice and tight. You want that copper plate making a good contact with your CPU. 
Don't like over crank it, but definitely tighten it down nice. Guys, a little hard to let you see this part. Really little in there. Um, but we'll there. And this one wire is a little bit long. Uh, a little bit longer than I would have liked, to be honest. Maybe I could wrap it around or under this way. Really no way to hide this one, huh? It's a little bit long, but that's okay. We'll figure it out afterwards. We could kind of tie this um, to the actual other cables uh, when, we, when we're done there. But okay, our cooler is mounted. All right, so that about wraps it up, guys. That is how you install the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 in your PC. Uh, you can pretty much take this advice and use it when installing any CPU coolers, but specifically for this video, I used this one. Uh, they all come with different mounting brackets. They're pretty generic when it comes to mounting in different PCs with different motherboards and different sockets. There's one thing, obviously, that you guys just need to pay attention to. And if you're buying a CPU cooler that requires you to install a backplate, uh, which this one did not, you need to make sure that you get that specific backplate from the manufacturer and make sure that your motherboard is compatible. Some of them have pre-installed backplates. I'm pretty sure most of them you can take off and install the custom one, but just double check on that but if you're purchasing the arctic liquid freezer 2 this is the a rgb edition um you do not need a custom backplate it's all mounted right on top of your motherboard so if you guys enjoyed this video and i was able to help you out hit that like button it really does help me out and subscribe to the channel turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time i post a video and if you want to hang out me live i stream on twitch monday through friday at 8 p.m eastern time i'll drop a link to that in the description below this video but anyways guys that's all from me i want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.